Hello YouTube, today we are going to replace the thermal paste on the Asus uh, GTX GeForce 1070 Strix. And this is what the card looks like when it is not open yet. So this is what the card looks like with everything removed. As you can see there is quite a bit of thermal paste. And there is no need for there to be so much, so we're going to be fixing that. And now we have applied a nice even layer of thermal paste, and we will put it back together. Alright, so we're back with the results. Um, for the test, both before and after, I wanted to have as little variation as possible in exterior or external variable so I set the fan to a static 50% and I left the GPU at stock speeds but I did increase the millivolt uh, by 100 and I set the power limit to 120% in MSI Afterburner so that if there was any headroom to be had the GPU would be able to take advantage of it now before and I also want to say that the room temperature for both before and after was exactly 26.5 so it's really consistent in that regard and before I had a load temperature of 71 degrees Celsius and keep in mind this is with a locked 50% fan speed um, and I used uh, Unigen I think is called Valley in order to stress the GPU as high as possible and for this I got 71% or 71 Celsius when the fan was at 50% and the idle temp was after the stress test is complete I just let the fan do its work until the temperature simply would not go any lower and before it was 35% and then I ran the uh, Unigine superposition test with the 1080p extreme preset and I got 3568 points um, and I also wanted to see if the frequency uh, would be able to improve like you know when, when the GPU heats up a little bit then the frequency will drop in order to uh, make sure that the GPU stays stable so for before that was uh, 2012 megahertz now afterwards I had a load temperature of 68 degrees so that is actually a drop by uh, 3 degrees in load still exactly the same room temperature and the fan still at 50 percent so that is actually a 3 degree drop and uh, for the idle test which was done in the same way I had 34 degrees so that's only one degree lower but still you can tell that it has an effect um, and then for the 1080p extreme preset it now scored 3544 as opposed to 3538 so it seems like the GPU because of the lower temperature it did have some extra headroom to uh, crank the frequencies up a bit um, and the stress frequency like the lowest frequency when I ran the Unigine Valley stress test was still uh, Actually, that's a typo. It's supposed to say 2012. Sorry about that. But yeah, those were actually identical. So, um, it seems like it would go just as low. But overall, I, I think I'm, I'm happy with the replacement of the thermal paste. Because it was fairly straightforward and easy to do. And the gains that I've had you can see here with identical conditions you still see a drop in temperatures and you get a little bit higher scores but the really interesting part for me <clears throat> has been that um, I have now been able to crank the memory up all the way to 9400 megahertz when I'm overclocking and I also was able to go a little bit higher on the overclocking with my say I have a custom fan profile and with that custom fan profile the fans does seem to run quieter but I didn't do a before and after test on that so 
I don't have any numbers to show you, but here at least you have proof that with identical room temperature and identical fan speed it does make a difference. So I would say it's worth doing, um, definitely. And uh, yeah, I think that that's pretty much it for this video. I do make 8-bit music. Uh, for those of you who like that, I have put a link in the video description, so you can check that out if you're into that sort of thing, and if you're just curious as to what it actually is, also click on the link, and I hope you like, comment, share, subscribe, tell all your friends, because we all know that we really do need those subscribers and stuff now with the new YouTube monetization policy, so I would really, really appreciate if you could subscribe. Um, that would be great. So, uh, thank you for watching and thank you for being part of this adventure with me and uh, see you next time.